Drinking Water Indicator, Bacteria and Their Significance with Public Health Ontario. So how can we know what's going on with your well water and if there's E. coli or too much bacteria buildup? Well, indicator bacteria are those bacteria that signal contamination drinking water during testing. The health effects of drinking water that contains indicator bacteria can range from no physical impact to severe illnesses, such as gastrointestinal illness, GI, with symptoms starting within a few hours, days, or weeks after consuming the water. And GI symptoms can include some or all of the following. Nausea, vomiting, cramps, diarrhea, muscle aches, headache, low-grade fever, and in rare cases, drinking contaminated water may result in significant illness or death. And anyone can get sick from drinking contaminated water, but children and the elderly people with weak immune systems are at a higher risk for harmful effects. So you might be asking, what are the total coliforms of E. coli? Well, total coliforms and S. coli are indicator bacteria, but they're also referred to as target bacteria. And other bacteria may be present in drinking water, which are called non-target bacteria. And the sanitary quality of the well water is measured by the amount of target bacteria in drinking water test samples. Now, drinking containing water coliforms may be unsafe to drink. Total coliforms are a group of bacteria commonly found in animal waste, sewage, soil, and vegetation. And they're also found in the intestines of animals and humans, and total coliforms are not likely to cause illness. But the presence indicates that your water supply may have been contaminated by more harmful microorganisms or may be a sign of bacterial regrowth. And water containing E. coli is unsafe to drink. E. coli is a specific number of coliform of bacteria found in the intestines of animals and humans. And although most strains of E. coli are harmless, the presence of E. coli in well water indicates fecal contamination. And this can mean there could be harmful bacteria, viruses, or parasites in your well water. So, what is an overgrown test? On occasion, a test can be overgrown, meaning there is a heavy load of bacteria in a sample, which can make it difficult to identify or count the bacterial indicators that may be present. There are two types of overgrown conditions. There's drinking water indicator bacteria and their significance, which is NDOGN, no data overgrown with no target. Water with an NDOGN test may be unsafe to drink. And in this situation, only non-target bacteria commonly found in the environment are visible during the test process. They're not usually a health hazard, but can interfere with the detection of total coliforms or E. coli. Then there is NDOGT, no data overgrown with target, and this is a test result that's unsafe to drink. When there is no NDOGT result, the test says a large number of bacteria present, and total coliforms or E. coli are visible to the analyst, but it's difficult to determine exactly how much there are. So what should I do if my test report shows an acceptable level of indicator bacteria or overgrown result? It's simple. Stop using your drinking water or boil it for at least one minute. Let it cool and use boiled water for the municipality if it's safe. You can contact your local public health unit as well. Then you can resample your drinking water after correction of actions have been taken. If you're a private well owner, you are responsible for the system maintenance, operation, and quality of your water. And if your drinking water is not improved, you may need to have your well tested by a licensed well contractor. You can also install a treatment system to remove bacteria. So when should I test my well water? Frequently after a flood or major rainfall, and after you've disinfected your well with positive test result. Make sure it's properly sealed. After well maintenance or after nearby construction. Now samples submitted for bacterial analysis are only examined for target bacteria and total coliforms and E. coli. Even if your test results show acceptable levels of total coliforms and E. coli, it does not guarantee the water is free of microorganisms. So the best thing to do to really know if there's microorganisms, E. coli, or anything else is to properly test your water.